Hi, I am Dr. S. Ayyappan, Senior Consultant Surgical Oncologist at Apollo Cancer Centers, Chennai. I am going to talk to you about vulva cancer. Vulva cancer is a cancer which occurs in the female genital tract. What do you mean by vulva? Vulva is the outermost surface of the female genital tract. A cancer occurring in this area is a thing which causes a lot of emotional problems for the person or for the individual. So generally these patients don't convey it to their loved ones and they find it very difficult to talk to any of them. Now, what are the usual etiological factors of vulvar cancer? When we talk about vulva cancer, it is the human papilloma virus infection or any other inflammatory processes which takes place in this area, that is in the vulva. The other main important thing, a rare thing is lichen planus or we talk about the Paget's disease. These are the things which can cause. And how are the, these patients present out? What are the signs and symptoms the patients present out? The patients usually talk about irritation in this area or it may be an itching in this area. They would have taken a lot of treatment, but with all the treatment, the itching will be there, irritation will be there. Some of the patients will also have pain. Some of them will have some amount of foul smelling discharge. Some patients can have a non-healing ulcer in that area. Very few patients, they present out with nodes in the inguinal region. Nodes are nothing but the spread of a disease from the vulva to the regional lymph nodes. Some patients, very advanced disease, they might have loss of weight, loss of appetite. That can be a spread of disease to other sites. How do you diagnose these patients? It is a proper physical examination of that area which needs to be done properly by a trained gynecologist or a gynecologist and we need to evaluate these patients to find out the exact stage of the disease. The stage of the disease can be evaluated by getting a proper radiological investigation. The radiological investigation can be an ultrasound for the local site or it can be a CT scan of the abdomen and the pelvis with contrast to know exactly where all the disease has spread from the primary. It is very important that we need to have a biopsy of the painful ulcer or whatever the site of the disease is to know the exact nature of the disease. Once we know this diagnosis, once we are ready with the staging, we need to decide the treatment. Treatment is very simple. If it is a small lesion which is confined only to the vulva, we go ahead and remove the tumor which we call as a wide excision. We remove the tumor, along with the tumor, we remove some amount of normal tissue also so that the whole tumor is taken without leaving behind any residual disease. If the disease has spread to the regional lymph node, then we need to go back and operate on the disease Along with that, the nodal clearance also needs to be done. Based on the post-operative pathology report, if the patient needs further treatment in the form of radiation therapy or chemotherapy, they need to be incorporated. They are called as the adjuvant treatment. For some patients, radiation therapy itself can be a primary modality of treatment and the patients can be cured of radiation therapy itself. Only advanced disease which are spread to various other sites, those are the patients who need chemotherapy. Generally, it is one form of skin cancer. So these patients do excellently well. The prognosis, the end result following that of treatment is excellent in these patients. The patients are to be given much of confidence because they can lead a normal life post treatment. That is very important when we talk to these vulvar cancer patients, we need to counsel them properly they can lead a normal life post-treatment. Very important, all these patients need to be on regular follow-up with the treating physicians and with the treating surgeon.